Hello, I am Ron Burr Gundy, your dude reviewer. I am your trusted advisor. I'm invest invested in giving the best purchase decision when buying cool clothing. All right, let me break it. Yeah. Okay. I All like right. that like awkward. I'm yes. going to I'm gonna <laughs> zoom in on your face right yeah, there. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Today we are reviewing the much anticipated Roback Performance Jogger. And we have a special sequence for you today where we're gonna do an unboxing, but actually unbagging on camera and we're gonna try it in the spot. Cause I haven't tried these at all. And I'm gonna give you my reaction to the Roback Performance Joggers. Cheers. Cheers. Let's get it. Mm, that tangerine lemongrass salsa tastes pretty good. It's a dry January, so Mitch is uh, fasting or doing some uh, lot drinking. So we're drinking seltzer water instead. So this is probably not gonna be nearly as fun for you guys to watch. Yeah, and uh, this is in January. You're probably not gonna see it in January. So just a heads up. All right, so bought these. It's in the bag, Roback branding. Here we go. So we'll do the unbagging. Then I'm gonna put these suckers on and do the squat test, cheat check, pocket test. Maybe another like what well, we had the, the Taekwondo, Rex Kwondo, roundhouse kick to the face test. Yep. And then we'll go through bros and cons because I haven't had a chance to wear these. So I'm gonna go on the spot and give you my opinion. Might be kind of cool, might be a dud, who knows. So here we go with the unbagging. So Mitch, if you don't mind, we gotta get really up close and personal with this. I'm gonna Let's put this it. on the stool. Yep. All right, ready? I got you. Okay, so, ooh, look at this nice bag here. All right, nice branding. Notice the sound of the bag, ASMR, 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 right? Mm -hmm. Whatever that is. Good. So it's in a simple bag, nice and branded. We're going to go ahead and open it up. Oh, wow. Look how smooth of experience that opening is. Unbelievable. Uh, I'm throbbing with anticipation <laughs> right now. <laughs> All right, guess what's inside? A polar plastic bag. Ooh. But I tell you what, what I do like, oh, yeah, is we get ourselves a nice sticker. We got a receipt. And we get a thank you card, right? See, I am Ron, Ronald. There we go. Oh, I with, don't think it focused. Oh, yeah, Ron, there we go. Ronald. Yep. With Sam Hubbard, who nah. uh, lost the NFC championship, or AFC championship. He's a Bengal, if yep. you guys didn't know. But it's kind of cool to have an NFL athlete on there. All right, and what, uh, so I love the handwritten note. And then they also do the whole free hoodie by hoodie by um, posting a picture of yourself craving activity. Did it once with a one wheel jumping a bunker, got a free polo. Put some other ones after that and they kind of ghosted me. So Roback, I'm looking at you. I'm waiting for my free stuff. We've done enough reviews on you. We're getting views. Guaranteed you're getting sales from it. Send us some stuff, all right? Yeah, we still okay. pay for everything. Yes, we do, we pay for this. And I'm gonna return it if you don't give us some stuff. All right, so here we go. Okay, now we're in our second bag, which I will tell you Roback, if you're always doing this, they're wrapping their stuff in some twine and be a little more environmentally conscious without all this plastic. So you just better take note. So here we go. It's in the bag. Even the plastic bag is branded, you know, but maybe get some like uh, brown paper bag branded stuff, you know, environmentally friendly stripes on here. Okay, so here we go. Get rid of the bag over here. First impression of the joggers, ready? Ooh. Freaking trouser joggers right here. Okay, so let's see these. Bad step boys. back a little bit. Step, step back, step back, okay. step back. All right, there you go. All right, so if you couldn't tell, I did open these ahead of time. I tried them on real quick. Didn't really wear them much. But they fit, so I'm going to make sure they fit for the video. Um, they're pretty sweet, but they remind me of immediately is the Meta Jogger from Viore, which I've used for a while. But a uh, few th features and benefits on here. Obviously, we have the drawstring. Um, or no, Sorry, the waistband. The waistband is similar to the ribbed cuff down here. They're nice and athletic fitting. Uh, I'll put them on in a minute, but um, they're not too tight, not too baggy. They got chino pockets and they have a little cell phone pocket back here. I love the little, the, the branding's on point, the little stripey guy, like Ooh. you get in the back of like yeah. the uh, shirt, the polos and the footies and all that. You get that there with a little rowback insignia. And I that, like that it's the same color here too, not too loud, it's subtle. That's, that's sick. really slick. I, I do like that. Yeah, and I really do, I actually like the look of these a little better than the Meta Jogger from Viore based on those features there. It doesn't have the second pocket here, but with joggers, I don't think this is necessary. The one is fine, especially with the, the zipper guy. So, and it's, uh, Feels pretty good. The fabric's nice, stretchy. I can't attest if it truly is anti-odor, sweat, or 
completely non-swamp ass because I have the Viore Meta Jogger that's also 100% polyester and you do wear it long enough it does get a little stanky unlike some other of their uh, fabrics so I don't have, I haven't had the chance to do that but this feels eerily similar to the Meta Jogger. All right one cool feature I noticed notice come up a little closer can you see the drawstring we're just dangling one out here why is that happening because I figured out that from the label you can slide the sucker inside, so you, have, so you have both inside or one or the other if you like to do one dangling lower than the other. And then on the outside, so if you want the drawstring on the outside, you can do that. If you want the drawstring on the inside, you can do that. So it's convertible or reversible. Mm. Pretty cool. I think it's a nice little option there because sometimes you want like the relaxed dangle or you want to tie it in the front or you just want it tucked on the inside because you want to make it more of a clean silhouette here, right? So that's a pretty cool feature. I like that. All right. So we're already getting these... pros and cons. So yeah. those are features and benefits. Um, and then let's go into putting these suckers on. Let's do the tests. And then Try we'll it, it on. Try it All right. on. All right. Blur, blur that out, please. All right. Cut. All right. And would you look at that? They automatically get the... Fuck. All right. And would you look at that? They automatically put on yourself. Okay. Anyway. Put them on for the... Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, let's yeah, move, yeah, move anyways. On. All right. Camera editing. <laughs> so uh, we're going to go through the test first. So first of all, from first impression... They feel pretty good. Let's take a little look here where I got the one drawstring in, one drawstring out. Can we pull them both out? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, how quick can you pull it out? Let's see. We might want to fast forward this a little bit. Okay, here we go. Thread, here. Thread the needle. Boom. There we go. Oh, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't bad. And then we'll get a little tie action here for the pocket test that's coming so, up. While you're tying that, yeah. just looking from the outside, I've owned a couple pair of Lululemon's ABC joggers. Mm -hmm. They remind me a lot of those as far as the fit. How's the cheek chest? Ready? Yep. There we go. They're not hugging the buns too much, but it's Squat showing. Test. Squat test. Squat test. I have thick thighs. Do they keep riding up? Or do they drop down? They drop down pretty decently. I don't think they're staying too crotchy. What about Rex Quando? <laughs> right up a little bit. A little, a little bit. bit, but that was a pretty, I mean, I almost hit the ceiling. So, yeah, right up a little bit, but hey, I'm not gonna be, you know, roundhouse kicking people in the face all day long, so not too worried about that. All right, and then let's go straight to pocket test. Oh shoot, where's all our stuff? All right, pocket test, we're gonna go straight for the lacrosse balls. Now this does have a media pocket right on the right hand side here. Good. So I'm going to slide that sucker in. It's an iPhone 14 Pro. Not bragging. It's just that. I mean, I can get it now, but it's want to see if it can fit the that. So it's not the XL or the, what's the big size called? The, the Max. It's not a Max. Max. It's a regular. So that fits fine. Still room for some balls. Good. And should I put a ball in the back? Actually, what about some DPs, brother? Oh, get my dick pods. Okay, thanks. Yep. All right, put those in there. Or should I put this in here in the, pot, in the phone in the back? Yeah, let's do that. We'll go phone in the back. Good. And then DPs. It has a lot of pocket options, actually. It does. I don't think you really need one here that much. And note, these are a large. I'm about six foot, 205 now. Well, it's 195, but the beefing. And uh, this is how they fit on me. I do have thick thunder thighs, but it's a large, so they are trim fit. All right, so now we're going, what's this called? The pocket test. Yep. So we're just gonna jump around. These suckers are staying, I mean, tight. I don't feel any jiggling whatsoever. I could even probably do a Rex Quando with these and nothing's coming out and not moving really much at all. It's riding up a little bit as expected, but this passes the pocket test big time. Honestly, when it rides up, it, it's a good look for the, the legs. Is it? The quad Shows father. Off. The Quad test? Yep. Okay. Cool. All right. So let's go straight into pros and cons. We actually, I mean, features and benefits, I basically gave you pros and cons. But so far what I'm feeling is I like these. They fit well. It's a good large because sometimes I struggle with like, give me a, a marge, like a large medium because medium fits a little trimmer, a little too tight, large, a little too baggy. I actually like these perfectly. Um, I like the drawstring. I like the optional of in and out. Love the little detailed branding, but the row back is the same color as this, not white. If it was white there, that kind of bothered me too, a little too loud. I like the media pocket is a good size on the side here. One back pocket, two regular chino pockets where the Viore ones like these weird that go in front and there's like the stitching around here. I don't like that as much. These are a lot, these are cleaner in my opinion. I, as, at the same price, I like these a little better 
than the Meta Jogger. However, I cannot attest for wearing them for a long period of time and how they smell after playing golf or something because the Meta Jogger can get a little ripe a little quicker than other performance fabric I'm used to. Um, and so pros, I mean, I like these a lot. Cons, I, I don't think there's any cons. I think the only con would be that they didn't stock these enough. I couldn't get them over Christmas. I bought them on a restock and I don't have any cons really. It's because I haven't, they haven't stood the test of time yet because I don't know if I'm mean, going to keep them. So I don't know durability and all our stuff, but from initial impression, I like them. I really like them. What do you think of the look? I think they, they fit good, especially knowing that's a large. Mm -hmm. I thought it was a medium. So it, it's a good slim fit, true to size. Um, I mean, I've never seen them before. I haven't even seen them on the website. So this is my first reaction and I love what I'm seeing. The only three colors, they got this gray and then black. Oh, that's a con then. Right, so, well, I think they're just, it's a feeler, right? Roback Star is just polos and they feel felt out like the Q-zips and then hoodies were a thing. Performance the, shirts? Yeah, performance shirts. Hoodies, they only came out with like two of them. They're like ugly tie-dye, like, we did one on this. There was really bright summer colors. It, I liked them, didn't like them enough. Now they have a plethora of colors and they're phenomenal. So I think give us some time, they'll probably get some more options and improve upon the jogger. Um, just at this point, between this and the Meta, I got to lean toward the Viore just because of the discount thing. You know, it's all a value proposition. If, if this was, because we're still trying to get free shit, for mm -hmm. lack of a better term, if this back. was price for price, you already said you're choosing this one all day. I'm going Roback versus Meta of the same price, yeah. I like this a little better, a little cleaner. I like the, the couple little features that, st that make it stand up apart a little bit better. Yeah, for sure. So, here we go. Are we, anything else? Final verdict. Let's well, final... Final verdict it. Oof. It's the final verdict. It's the final verdict. I give this. Mm. Four point four two white Russians. Four point four two, not the full four and a half. Yeah, I gotta give it a little bit less than four and a half, yeah. I don't know why I should do. But let's be that. let's be real. They didn't send you your free stuff no. when they were supposed to, and it, it, that's the reason why you didn't give it a full Spite. four and a half. I'm very spiteful. Yeah, we're spiteful. So, but if you friend, send us free stuff, then we will forgive all. Yeah, and we'll do some nice reviews. You know, uh, we'll still be honest and tell you our, our opinions on it. All right. we well, do. That was our first unbox yeah. slash bagging. Uh, let us know if you like that content. We'll we'll keep it rolling. As yeah, far as... and let us know if we want content of rebagging and how we. have Put it back together and ship it back out. No, please don't do that. I don't want to do that. I, yes. I hope that's not a thing because I didn't think unbagging was a thing or unboxing, but apparently it is. So that's why we're doing it. Here we so, are. 4.42 White Russians. Cheers to sobriety until February 1st. And uh, It's not let, as bad as I thought it would be. Yeah. Let us know what we want us to review next. We have a couple in the docket. I think we've already fleet pant and a couple other things. Or maybe we should do a Meta Jogger review next. Yeah. And give us some, give us a comment and let us know what you want to see next because we are posting more content of yeah. reviews more consistently. Brands, joggers, shorts, just hit us. Hit us up. All right. See you later.